Let's uh, talk more about markets then to prep you for tomorrow's trading session. And Nipun Mehta is right here with us. He's the founder and CEO of the Blue Ocean Capital Advisors and uh, joins us live on the show. Nipun, so good to have you on the show. What do you make of uh, the lackluster trade that we had today? Is it just festivities breather that the bulls are taking or what is it? Because the global markets did show some nervousness, were back, but we have not really reacted negatively so much to Brexit at the moment. Is this coming in as a positive news? Well, Nisha, uh, markets are consolidating very clearly. Uh, you're seeing uh, half a percent plus or minus virtually every day that is there. Uh, you're seeing uh, probably expectations of positive outcome coming on uh, in the monsoon session of parliament. Monsoons it, them, uh, itself are uh, showing up a uh, positive trend uh, and they've, they're now above normal. So there are a lot of domestic cues which are, which are positive, but uh, the result season could be a, 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 a surprise, so to say. But there are, of course, clearly global cues which are creating the affair, a fair amount of uncertainty. While Brexit might be a little more far away uh, for the moment, uh, you still have uh, uncertainty coming in uh, from the US markets or more importantly, the, the currency movement that is there, the oil price movement that is there, commodity price movements that are there. If you look at uh, just this, a small analysis of uh, the kind of global risks in terms of uh, countrywide rating that is there, uh, let's look at uh, maybe Fitch ratings, uh, the highest downgrades that have ever happened or, or in the uh, last three or four decades is uh, 15 downgrades that we've seen in 2011. Uh, in this year itself, uh, in, in uh, uh, 20 downgrades in 2011, but this year itself, we've already seen 15 downgrades that have happened, countrywide downgrades we're talking about. And 22 other countries are uh, on a negative outlook, which means that uh, you have significant further uh, downgrades that could happen, So, which creates uncertainty as far as the currency markets, bond markets are concerned, and clearly movement. Uh, a lot of these downgrades incidentally are from emerging markets. So India looks to be a bright spot, very clearly. Uh, but when you look at FII flows uh, within the emerging markets itself, there are other countries, um, significantly smaller Vietnam, uh, you have South Korea, which are uh, getting significantly higher flows in comparison to what India is getting or what India has got, let's say, for 2016. Uh, so there is obviously uh, that global uncertainty issue that is there. There are several positive cues that are coming about. I think as uh, you see liquidity flows coming in uh, or you see more risk off trades happening, uh, you'll see an upward momentum gradually coming about. But I think very clearly, uh, the immediate short-term cues would be the result season and, uh, of course, uh, how the monsoon session of parliament pans out. Oh, yes. Uh, so the key factors to watch out for Nippon clearly are, uh, of course, how ma monsoon pans out uh, from the face of it looks good at the moment. Also, earnings is something that to, uh, we are watching out for. But uh, what are the nifty levels that uh, you have in mind, uh, given whatever data is available at the moment? Well, I think if you again look at it from pure short term basis, difficult call to make, but you could potentially see uh, a three to five percent upside or downside that could come about. Uh, you don't see a significant downside coming about, uh, uh, given the fact that domestic queues are positive, uh, given the fact that the kind of government spending that's happening on infrastructure is gradually creating uh, that uptick as far as. Uh, uh, infrastructure spending or real estate spending is concerned. Uh, that's ensuring that there is a gradual but slow deleveraging of uh, some of the companies that's happening. So a, a, a lot of that is creating a sort of positive and gradual positive environment that is there. We're still far away from uh, a, a turnaround, but that gradual positive env environment is ensuring that uh, the domestic queues uh, look positive. So probably a, uh, anywhere from a, a, a three to four percent upside or downside is something that uh, really you can vouch for uh, in the immediate term.